It is Tuesday. What do we have going on outdoors? Well, for today, it's getting a little warmer than yesterday. Most of the conditions fairly similar as we head into your Tuesday afternoon, with the exception of a bump of around four to five degrees in high temperatures okay. today. So that's something that you should keep in mind. Dress for the warmer temperatures. As we head into tomorrow, winds are picking up, and that's going to result in high fire danger returning a fire weather watch going into effect early, early in the morning on Wednesday and lasting through 11 a.m. on Friday. So keep this in mind. Fire danger is going to be high. Winds are going to be gusting up to around 35 miles an hour with stronger winds possible in some terrain in the foothills and canyons. We're going to be seeing humidity down in that 10 to 25 percent range without much recovery overnight and temperatures are heating up. Now air quality, here's the good news, Julia. It's in the good range for most of us this morning. If you want to open up those windows, give the AC a little bit of a break before you might need it later on this afternoon. That's not a bad idea. If you're looking to get out for that walk, it looks great this morning. Temperatures early on 50s to low 60s in the valley in foothills. We're seeing 30s to 40s in most mountain areas right now. Meanwhile, winds out of the north, not strong this morning. We'll only see winds up to around 10 miles an hour, mostly out of the north today. But as we head into tomorrow, that's when those winds are really starting to pick up. You can see gusts to 35 miles an hour projected for tomorrow afternoon. Overnight Wednesday into early Thursday, those gusts in the canyons and foothills are going to get stronger out of the northeast. Not quite as strong for the winds on Thursday as what we'll see Wednesday but it's strong enough to be a concern, especially in those areas around the north complex. And then getting a look at what we're seeing moving forward, high pressure keeping us sunny and dry for the most part today. We will see a chance for some showers just skirting along the California and Oregon border, but high pressure is building in. Now, that low pressure that's overhead to our north now, that's going to start to dive down to the south and east as we head into your forecast on Wednesday. And that low pressure off to our east, Interacting with the high pressure off to our west is what's going to drive those gusty north winds heading through. That continues on Thursday. And then as that low pressure exits off to the east, heading into Friday and Saturday, that's when we start to see the winds subsiding a little bit. And we do see just plenty of sunshine on the way as we head through your weekend. Getting a look at what we're seeing this afternoon, temperatures in the 70s to low 80s in the northern mountains with mostly sunny skies. Mostly sunny in the Sierra today, upper 60s to mid 70s for your afternoon. Foothill areas expecting to see mid 70s to low 80s later on today, so a little warmer than what we saw on Monday. And for the valley, it's upper 80s to low 90s this afternoon. Winds out of the northwest up to around 10 miles an hour later today. Not much of a change of pace as you head to the mid valley for your afternoon. Your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekend's always in view. High 80s for Chico today and tomorrow with those winds really picking up tomorrow. Sustained winds to 25 miles an hour on Wednesday, 20 miles an hour on Thursday, and then gust to 35 miles an hour both days. We'll see temperatures staying in the low 90s on Friday with winds staying breezy but not as strong as Wednesday and Thursday. Reading upper 80s today and tomorrow low 90s Thursday. Friday and Saturday, and then we do finally see a little bit of a cool down on the way. Mid 80s Sunday with low to mid 80s by Monday. So, Julia, there is an end in sight to the 90s. But remember, Wednesday through Friday, big concerns for fire danger ahead in your forecast.